Okay, in this section we're going to set up the blog page. Depending on which starter site you installed, your site may have come with a blog page already, like this one here. Uh, the problem is, is when I click edit, the blog page pulls up Gutenberg and I can't even see the Gutenberg settings. They're just blank boxes here. So even if I wanted to edit this blog page, I wouldn't know where to start because the story with Gutenberg is that it's fairly new and that even though it comes with WordPress, um, it, you can encounter bugs with it. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new blog page because blogs are generally just to write content, maybe have a featured image, and to maybe get you more visitors through SEO. Uh, these, these nice looking blog pages are nice, but in the end I want to show you how to do one that will work every time. And the one that comes with the Astro theme looks nice anyway, so I'm just going to abandon this and set up a new one. So I'm going to go to the dashboard and then I am going to go to pages and I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to call this new blog just so I can keep them separate and I'm just going to publish a blank page okay now that we've done that part we need to tell WordPress to stick all the blog posts into this page so let's go to appearance and then appearance uh, customize that brings up the customizer and when you go down to the bottom of the side bar here you see home page settings and then here for the posts page this is where I tell WordPress where we want our all our posts to be found and there's the page new blog Okay, go ahead and publish that. Let's go ahead and take a look at that blog page that we just set up. So go to pages. We're just going to check it out manually here. We are going to view it. And it looked like it, it it looks like it worked. This is the default Astra theme blog layout. This is a sidebar over here. I'll show you how to adjust the sidebar and these are the blog posts showing up in order this image that's showing up is the featured image of each post so when you click on the blog post you see the blog post that they created and you see the featured image here notice if you go to your dashboard and you go to posts and you edit that post you'll see the post here and then over here on the side you have featured image and when you add that that's what shows up in the blog and shows up at the top of the post let me go back to the page and go back to the new blog okay now that we're using the default Astra blog page uh, there are some options you should be aware of if you don't want these options here I'm going to go back to the dashboard and I'm going to go to appearance customize again but this time I'm going to check out the blog options and so this is the blog page and so it's saying we do want to show the featured image and we do want title and blog meta these are the meta options so if you don't want author to show up if you don't want comments to show up I just hit that eyeball and that's going to remove the comments from showing up or the category content width default so there, there are some options here but this right here is displaying the featured image and the title and blog meta and then these are the options so that's how you would adjust those I'm going to leave the comments off just to see what happens when we go to the page pages view 
and you can see there's no comments showing up here now. I'll show you how to edit this sidebar now just in case you don't want all of these options. These are called widgets. So we're going to go to the dashboard and then we're going to go to appearance widgets. And this right here is called the main sidebar and this is where they dragged all of those widgets in. If you don't want one of them you just delete it and if you want something else you just drag it into your main sidebar so all of these things are showing up because of these widgets here and then don't forget to save it and once you drag it in you would save it like if you drag this in here looks like it saves automatically I'm gonna delete that okay so that's how you adjust the sidebar Lastly, I want to show you how to put the blog page in your menu because up at the top it's still pointing to the old blog page. So we need to go to Appearance, Menus, and my starter site came with just one menu and it's called Menu. If you have more than one menu, you have to select it. But this is the menu that was created for me and these are the pages. I need to add a new page so over here we're going to go check new blog because that's the page I want to add add to menu and now I'm going to delete the old one and I'm going to adjust the name for the label blog and then make sure you save it and you'll see right here primary menu so it's going to be displayed as your primary menu okay this is good let's go ahead and check it out and now I'm going to click blog and it pulls up the right thing it pulls up all my posts and my new sidebar